Hello everyone, because you're all busy making the bald man weep over the F-18 announcement, I've created 1 Minute DCS. This time I'm covering the Mirage Radar Tutorial Part 2. Watch Part 1 first. When you lock a target, make sure you use your IFF to determine friend from foe. If a diamond with two vertical lines each side of the target box appear, it's a friend. Additionally, an A for a me will appear in the HUD target box. If you IFF a locked enemy, no A will appear in the target box in the HUD. And on the heads down, there will only be a single vertical line each side of the target. Displayed across the top of the radar, from left to right, are the target bearing, closing speed in knots, and target altitude. On the left of the target box is the range, and on the right is the closing speed in Mach. PID indicates track while scan, and PIC indicates single target tracking. As you near your target, switch your range down to maintain a clear view in your radar scope. Switching from PPI to B-Scan displays the information in a square US top-down format. The information provided is identical. Remember, before you can fire a missile, you must press the lock button a second time. This is indicated by single target tracking mode or PIC on the radar display. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, using your radar is a lot like being a little girl in the 1980s asking Rolf Harris to draw her a picture. You get a picture of something, but when he looks at you, reaches into his pants and says, Can you tell what it is yet? You know you're more than likely going to get fucked. On that tasteful note, I thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to dislike or tell me to go fuck myself below.